the harbor of Rhodes uh, continued, I suppose, with uh, boats docked, windmills in the distance. Medieval walls in the distance. More boats docked. And medieval walls and sculptures. The knights, sedates, and the knights. There's a sailing club right by the church. When you have a sitting down and the tower of the church. The main building of the church that I went into in the morning on the first day. This is the traditional side of the Colossus of Rhodes there, but it's not really where the Colossus was. Ooh. There's, there's a ferry coming into Rhodes Harbor. Blue Star Ferries. And in the distance is Turkish mainland. And the water is very clear, as you can see. And this is the uh, pier, one of the piers. Well, this is the beach at Road. Not that great. Not many tourists. It's Holy Week, April, about 69 degrees. The beach on Rhodes and Palm Sunday. That's Turkey in the distance. All that remains of the Temple of Aphrodite. Greek, ancient Greek. The, the Archaeological Museum of Rhodes. It's Sunday, so the shops are mostly closed. You have an imposing castle structure around this square. The fountain at Fountain Square, the other part of the square. A charming little restaurant street in Old Town Road. A semi-pedestrian street in Old Town Road. Now, another square and a fountain with parrots and pigeons and shops. St. Mary's Gate from, I guess, the 15th century. And St. Mary's Church long abandoned. An interesting gate into the harbor of Rhodes. A small church open on Palm Sunday, which is when we're here. Here's the small 16th century church inside on Palm Sunday. The interior. A side chapel of the church. I'm just talking to my camera. Saints and a saint being boiled on the top. On the top. Interesting trees around here. God knows what they are. I like these old cannonballs in the streets. Yeah. Leaving the old city. Flowers beside the medieval moat. I'll be out in a sack. Moat. I'm just talking to the camera. Looks like old cannonball. Lots of old cannonballs down there. A closer look at the old cannonballs in the moat. By the walls of the old city. This street has special Easter decorations for Holy Week. Paintings above some of the entrances to the street. More paintings specially constructed for Holy Week on the streets. An old church, a very old church, 15th century in the road. Inside the very old 13th or 14th century church on road. Palm Sunday. <laughs> this building has a sundial, a sundial clock on it. An old building too. Got a tower. 
Great, no. Look at the rest of our masks that we were at. A long street we're going to be walking down through the center of the old town. Well, maybe it's not the center, the northern part, that's where we're at. Buildings on the street of the Knights in Rhodes, built in the 15th century, the early 15th century. This is the tail end of the street of the Knights. The Knights Street, uh, leading from the great palace of the Knights behind us. This is the palace of the Knights of the Templars in Rhodes by the Street of the Knights. It's very old. The top end of the Knights Street, the opening is by the great palace or whatever it's called.